Pollyanna is definitely a film to put on if you're looking for something that's easy to watch, relaxing and will generally make you see the best in life. This is a 1960 Disney film. It's directed by David Swift and is based on the novel by Eleanor H. Porter. And this tells the story, believe it or not, of Pollyanna, who's played by Hayley Mills. And Pollyanna goes to live with her Aunt Polly. Aunt Polly is played by Jane Wyman. And she's been orphaned. She lives with her aunt. And she's gone from a life of having no money and, and you know being quite poor to living with her very rich aunt. But we see that actually the rich people are not necessarily the ones who are the happiest. And Pollyanna has this incredible, upbeat, positive, sunshiny outlook on life, which does annoy some of the other characters, much to uh, my amusement, I have to say. And it's all about her bringing this sunshiny attitude to these various people as they go through their life and the different, you know, problems and pitfalls. And it's it's an easy watch. It's very pleasant. It's enjoyable. There are times where it definitely would make you be thankful for your lot in life. For example, there's a game Pollyanna plays revolving around crutches. And I won't say what the crutches were for or, or what the game involves. I don't want to spoil it too much. But that bit in particular really, really made me think about things. And I really enjoyed that scene in particular and how that played out. There are times when it felt a bit repetitive, such as the Rainbow Makers. I feel like that went on for just a little bit too long. They kind of milked it for all, all it was worth. And then some... And Pollyanna really needs to learn some more vocabulary because she says everything is gorgeous. And I get the point is because she's not had gorgeous things in her life. For example, when her Aunt Polly goes to buy her a new dress, the fact that it's store-bought excites Pollyanna to no end. Such a simple thing for people like her Aunt Polly. But for Pollyanna, it's this new experience and a luxury that she's never had before. And again, it helps to put everything into perspective, but she does call things gorgeous one too many times. Uh, I particularly like the character of Nancy, played by Nancy Olsen. I think she was a great kind of middle ground between Pollyanna's lifestyle and Aunt Polly's lifestyle. She obviously works for Aunt Polly. She knows what that kind of rich life looks like, but obviously she works for a living uh, doing, you know, kind of cooking and, and helping to look after Pollyanna, of course. So she's kind of a middle ground between the two lifestyles. And I, I enjoyed the film. Would I watch it again? Yeah, I think I would. It's not perfect. As I said, things have felt a bit repetitive now and again, and I feel like certain scenes could have been removed and we wouldn't have lost anything. It could have been decent up just a little bit here and there. And if I heard the word gorgeous one more time, I think I was going to lose my mind. But generally, Pollyanna was one that I was really looking forward to because I'd heard such good things about it. 7.4 out of 10 on IMDb, which for a feature film is just fabulous. And I have to say it. I really enjoyed it. It is on Disney Plus and I'd say it's definitely worth checking out if you're looking for something heartwarming, easy to watch and generally really delightful.